Thank you, Ken, once again, for being here. Um, and I know, I feel like so many people are asking this question, especially just in recent times, is how do we manage change as leaders? And what can we do to combat that and be our best selves in times of extreme change? For me, managing change is the essence of what a leader does. A manager gets results. A leader is a change agent. That's the, my definition. And that, that's why leaders have to be inspiring and motivating, but they have to know how to go about the process of managing change. Just talking about it can work. So over the years and working with you know, hundreds of organizations, I've identified eight steps to manage change. And I first did this, oh, 20 years ago with new NGs in Romania when they were you know, just 10 years out of being part of a communist system and they're working on developing NGOs and civil society and you know, the whole private sector. And how do you manage change? Ooh, that was their big question. Well, first step, and this is what is so core to a nonprofit NGO, non-governmental organization. It's articulate your vision. What is your vision in your organization and in your leadership style? Your vision is going to motivate people. It's something new, something exciting that gets people excited. So that's the first. The second is to incorporate that vision in your mission. What are you going to do about it? And, and this follows exactly what a good nonprofit does in terms of strategic planning, which is what you can see in you know, the, my second book right behind me. It's incorporate your vision into a mission. Okay, good. And then once you've done this, you got to communicate it again and again and again, because leadership communicates a vision and a mission. It communicates something to excite people. Okay, the real magic though, is to focus on results, not change. When you talk about change, people get worried. I'm gonna lose status. I'm gonna lose my job. I'm gonna lose something. I don't wanna change. I'm already good, right? You want me to change? No, I don't wanna, that's the reaction. So the best way to manage change is not talk about it. Vision, mission, and results. What are the results of what you want to do? Get serious. Yeah. yeah. Number five is to get everyone involved. Make it a participation. And this is true in the whole planning process. It's true in ongoing excitement of what you're going to accomplish. Involve people, listen to them, get them to participate. Then the six is, again, is right out of strategic planning. It's get people to articulate what their own objectives are, their unit's objectives, their team's objectives, maybe their personal objectives to achieve that mission through the work. Next, number seven is to monitor as people are doing this. And that's true in you know, a nonprofit organization, is true in a community group, it's true, hey, and some of the times I try to change pe people in my own family. I have to monitor what they're doing, be on top of them and encourage them so they can improve and you can improve. So the ultimate of this is to lead with a vision. You know, what needs to be, I don't wanna say that word, what needs to get better and manage for the results. That's it. It's just a simple circle of going around starting with vision, mission, and ending with results. And I think it's so important because, at least in my experience, when we start without a vision or if there's nothing that's driving us or pushing us forward, the amount of participation is so much less and people don't want to care as much. Um, and it makes sense. And I feel like that's such a, a cornerstone of any leader's 
experience and what they want to make sure that they're delivering for the people who are working for them too um, is clearly communicating that vision with each other and co-creating it to make it the best it can be for the overall team too. Yeah, at, at a birthday I had a few, actually a year and a half ago now, the last big family gathering we had in early March, year and a half ago, I got the grandkids together to talk about what they wanted to do as a family for the environment. And they worked and they developed some really good uh, you know, activities that everybody could do. We wrote it up, I shared it with family, nothing happened. I followed up more recently with my brother who initially was, you know, what's gonna matter what I do? And I gave the image of what we do is like maybe sand on a beach. Each little activity makes for a beach. Without each little activity, we have a rocky coast and it hurts when you walk. So every single action can make a difference. And a month later, he came back and said, Ken, here's a list of what my wife and I are doing. You know, there was that whole, you know, step up to leadership, but it was also managing this by the vision of a, you know, a planet that survives and managing for results of, okay, well, what have you done? How are we going to move ahead? So these are things that work. I've seen it. I see big NGOs that do this all the time. I see it happen in neighborhood groups. Eight steps to manage change. You can do it. I believe everybody can do it. Thank you for listening. Thank you.